van life continues to appeal to millions around the world. The sense of freedom and spontaneity attracts both old and young to try a completely different lifestyle on the road. You drive and you can stop anywhere you want. That's the idea, the freedom that comes with it is, is fantastic, yeah. During the pandemic, with some international borders closing and travel restrictions in place, many Brits turned to domestic adventures and staycations as a means of escape. Post-lockdown, the real pull of van life has been fulfilled, offering a safe, self-contained alternative to traditional forms of accommodation. This father and son company in Pembrokeshire, Wales, caters to this emerging market, with Victron Energy at the core of their business. So Olive Nars van conversions, we do complete custom and bespoke van conversions and lorries. <laughs> we'll take on any projects. We do every aspect of a build. We don't source vehicles, the customer brings the van to us. We'll design and go through every aspect of what they want. Pull together the design, make sure they're happy with the, the quotation, and then the work goes from there. Tom started his own van conversion project during lockdown and enjoyed the process so much, he decided to make it into a business. It's a complete service he offers and is a far cry from his pre-pandemic life as a sound engineer and tour manager for UK music acts. The job forced him to be away from his wife Chelsea and daughter Olive, after whom the business is named. Being away from family for a long time is extremely tough, especially when Olive was so little. I do miss it, I miss, I miss certain aspects of it, but I love what I do now. And what he does now is possible, in part, thanks to help from his dad. So it's, uh, it's me and my dad. We've been going now three and a half years. He's an ex-air conditioning, electrical refrigeration engineer, but very engineer-minded, brilliant at what he does. And then when I had the idea for the whole Olive and Oz, doing conversions, he was on board from day one. Despite designing something down to a T, you might come up against regulations with gas work and stuff like that, and you have to overcome them. So having two minds on one thing is really beneficial. And he, he's all right. <laughs> Advising Tom on the electrical aspect of the business has been Paul Collins, who's been key to the new business's success. It's coming through. Servo and uh, touch. touch. So, Energy Monkey is mostly a Victron dealer. We do everything from camper vans to boats to big off grid. We mostly supply um, the equipment to companies like Olive and Oz that do conversions. What we try and help people like Olive and Oz is, is not to make mistakes with their customers. So, you know, we'll help them so they can pass this on and, you know, they, everybody's happy at the end of the day. So, when Customer satisfaction is clearly important to both business owners involved in the operation and something that has been helped massively by Victron Energy's training resources. When we started purchasing more Victron stuff, Paul Energy Monkey was invaluable in sort of like helping me put together packages for clients and people. And obviously the Victron training itself online is brilliant. We can do anything from full off grid with no AC, but then a lot of people are going for, say, like the MultiPlus option, which has got the AC switch in. The switchover is instantaneous. There's no messing around with panels and leisure batteries, vehicle batteries. It's very much plug and play. So, yeah, we find that most clients are going for like a lithium battery with a MultiPlus and the battery insights. So that's after that, they can't really want much more. <laughs> the consumption in the van, if you're keeping it very basic is quite low and a panel will keep a van charged most of the time. We always try and steer clients to lithium, obviously for the, the massive benefits. We've done everything with Olive and Oz from small single battery, lead acid batteries to mostly lithium systems now with the Victron Smart Lithium, um, with the Spark BMSs, MPBTs, DC to DC Orions. So this vehicle that I'm sitting in there is a Mercedes long wheelbase um, and we're having it built by Oliver and Oz as a bit of a demo vehicle for Victron Parts. The 
I could never build this vehicle. So I talk to people all day long about Victron parts and what we need for, you know, various camper vans. But I couldn't fit a shower, a toilet, a kitchen and a pad or any of the equipment other than the Victron parts. So in this vehicle, we're going to go with the 24 volt multi plus two. And we've decided to go with the 24 volt Victron NG range batteries. So they give you a whole range of extra data through your touch 50 and can monitor temperature and cell voltages individually. I think being able to actually see it in situ, being able to press buttons and use it and have conversations with somebody about the system is really useful for people. Along with the Energy Monkey project, Tom also oversees the conversion and maintenance to this vehicle, owned and operated by a Welsh mental health charity. This is the DPJ lorry. It's owned and run by the DPJ Foundation, who work within the agricultural and farming sector. And this is a roaming, rolling clinic. So a lot of the farmers and people who work in that sector, they don't have the time. Sadly, it's one of the industry with the highest suicide rate. It's run by Emma, who's a fantastic nurse. She'll drive it to a site. It doesn't look like a clinic. We've gone for the farmhouse aesthetic. She can carry out full health checks including like uh, blood pressure, sugar levels, BMI. We went for the completely incognito look. It's a warm space, it's got heating. We've got the two areas, the seating area, it's kitchen, it can boil a kettle all day long. It's completely off grid. And then the back area has got another hot water tap for the nurse. There's a table, a multi-use chair. Yeah, and then storage for all of the clinical stuff that's needed. The lorry itself has got a full lithium 24 volt system. It's got four full panels on the roof, a split charge for a 24 volt system, uh, full control on VRM and the lot. So they've had this now for almost coming up a year and Emma, the nurse, has said that they've been able to run it completely off grid. I don't think they've ever plugged it in, which is fantastic. They boil the kettle for everyone who comes through the door. So they've got uh, the Orion 2417, so when they're driving it charges, but I think it takes solo over, over everything as a priority. I don't think it's ever dropped below 70% as far as I can see. <laughs> Projects like this definitely throw up different challenges and I love this work. I'd love to do another one. All the functionality, the intuitiveness of Victron, it's just plug and play and it works. This Mercedes Sprinter was once a Transport for London support vehicle. It's a comfortable and roomy home on wheels, thanks to Tom's handiwork. Andrew and his wife approached him to do the conversion after they caught the van life bug whilst on holiday in New Zealand. Well, I did a little bit of work around the van externally in particular, and we decided we needed the professionals to come in and really get this done. And we were looking locally at uh, companies and we, we found Olive and Isles, an absolutely fantastic company. Uh, tickled pink with them, actually. A bespoke sort of service they provided. And some of the, uh, the uh, previous schemes and uh, projects they'd done were just exactly what we were looking for. We could have bought a, a camper off the peg, if you like, but it wouldn't be exactly what we were looking for. And the, the decor in the van, I think, you know, advertises their skills, really. The layout of the medium wheelbase Sprinter has been completely rejigged. A sink and a gas hob have been added, along with a fridge, a fan and practical and accent lighting, powered by one solar panel on the roof and a Victron Energy Multi Plus inverter. We've got 230 volt power as well, which we need it on campsites. We can plug in, get our laptops out, which is really useful. Um, we've got lithium batteries, which we haven't had in the past, which have been fantastic. And as much as I understand them, they can drain down to nearly zero and recharge, where your sort of normal batteries will only go down about 30-40% from what my understanding of things. So they're very, very efficient. We've also got the app, which is brilliant, the Vitron app. Um, so we check the level of, of the battery every time we, we use it, really. And it was an investment for us. So yeah, I mean, obviously nothing comes cheap these days with the cost of living, but it was worth it, every penny. When you invest in something like this, it's, it's a forever van. With over half a million people in the UK already living on four wheels in their own forever vans, 
there seems no end in sight for the van life boom, meaning Tom's business looks set to be very busy converting vehicles for years to come. If you'd like to learn more about how Victron Energy Systems can help turn your vehicle into a comfortable, powered home away from home, check out this video featuring YouTuber Luke's van life. In it, his van receives a full Victron Energy install and upgrade, meeting all his energy needs.